Okay, let's continue our lesson. In this part, our target to calculate the proper normals. We cannot calculate these uh, normals, unfortunately, on the vertex shader side, because vertex shader knows information only about the current point is processing. So let's switch to let's switch to Photoshop, where I painted some small uh, description how different shader stages works. So uh, vertex shader is processing only one point or vertex how it's called in uh, OpenGL. It's somehow similar to uh, point SOP in Touch Designer. If we include geometry shader stage in the uh, processing of geometry, we can process primitives. With one limitation, uh, OpenGL can only process triangles. So basically, if we doing geometry shader stage, we know information about three vertices uh, building one triangle. That means actually we can calculate normal of primitive. And then uh, the processing comes to the top, to the texture space, and in fragment shader we're processing the pixels, uh, which are on the way from camera vector to geometry. So basically only pixels which are on geometry are processed by the fragment shader. Okay, so if we know already we can process and calculate uh, normals of primitives. So let's switch to the next uh, schema and check how we can calculate it. So basically we know information about the position of three points or three vertices. That means we can calculate two vectors from point 0 to point 1 and from, from point 0 to point 2. And then we can calculate a cross product. Basically, in simpler words, cross product is a vector which is perpendicular to two other vectors on the normal of a surface. So basically, the calculation is easy like that. So we subtract point 0 coordinate from point 1 coordinate, save it as a vector 1. We subtract point 0 coordinate from point 2 coordinate, save it as a vector 2, and make a cross product between vector 1 and vector 2 and save it as a normal. And replace uh, original touch designer normal by this normal. Okay, let's switch to touch designer and do that work. So if we take a closer look to the geometry shader, created for us by derivative. Remember in last lesson we created uh, the geometry shader using the output shader button in the PBR shader. Uh, it makes the default shader looking like that. What that shader is doing? Basically it's just a bypass shader. It's recreating the full geometry from scratch and that's important to understand that geometry shader always recreate geometry from scratch. So it receives the point coordinates from the vertex shader and builds a new vertices and builds in new primitives. So we have two special function which only accessible in geometry shader emit vertex and emit primitive. So emit vertex will create a new vertex on position of alt vertex by default and and primitive will build a primitive after three vertices are emitted. That's why the in vertex structure, which is interface from the vertex shader. So remember, we have here the out vertex structure, which includes four, four, uh, four variables, vector for color, vector free wall space position, vector free wall space normals, and flat integer camera index. As a or vert is out vertex structure. So on the geometry shader side, we create the same structure, but it's array because we processing a primitive, including three normals, uh, three points. And it outputs the same out vertex structure like vertex shader was outputting. So on the start of a shader, we have layout, triangle, strip, uh, max vertices, three out. 
defining that we can produce a triangle strip, a triangle, and on in what is coming from the touch designer subspace, we are receiving also triangles. Okay, so we have here the loop running through all vertices, but in this case, we have to change something here. Let's calculate now the primitive vector. First, we have to get the information about the all three vertices positions. So let's define the vector three P zero is equal. <coughs> then we can copy this line from here, volt space position, and replace I by zero. Then copy and paste this three times and make Two new variables p1 and p2 and replace array index by 1 and 2 correspondently then we have to calculate two vectors vector 3 v1 is equal p1 minus p p0 vector 3 v2 is equal p2 minus p0 and last we calculate a normal vector free n is equal to normalize which makes a final normal one unit length from cross between v1 comma v2 and now we can apply these normals everywhere for every vertex on output that's all now we have proper normals calculated logically the resulting normals will be flat primitives because unfortunately in touch designer we don't have any information about the uh, surrounding polygons but because this all deformation happens on GPU side and very fast we can increase the quality of the surface uh, going inside of geometry and increasing the details so we select a sphere and let's make a let's say 130 frequency this takes one uh, a bit of time once then we go outside and you see that this the quality of geometry became much more cool and one thing more we have to know that the geometry shader and all shader calculations will be executed also in all viewers that's mean that only not only executed on the uh, render side but also here in geometry viewer also here in the camera viewer so if we disable this viewer we will increase the performance of our patch significantly so better don't to have any geometry viewers available. So now I'm recording, which takes also a bit of GPU performance. That's why the FPS went down. But if I disable the recording and the second touch designer running on a second monitor, it will works for 60 FPS. Uh, okay, thank you. And uh, in last lesson, we will continue with some small shader adjustment. I want to make the fractional blend for different uh, shader parameters. And like usual, uh, the source project will be available in my Patreon. Follow it and thank you for your time.